Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we have the final devlog until Tales of Tenorio's release. So, let's get straight into it. First of all, regarding the release time, date and content, there's going to be a separate message on Thursday, Topia thinks, that will explain some of that stuff and we'll have a look at the first event rupture. Now, onto the new type icons. They have revamped every type icon in the game, which you might have seen in my previous video and added a new type called adaptive and this type is kind of just to fill in the gaps with like struggle and stuff and it's just supposed to hit all other types in the game for neutral and it's just kind of there for those special moves now with move switching it's just kind of like when you're in battle and you level up learn a new move it'll just be a pop-up and you can swap the move etc pretty standard as for weather changes, a few weathers will be very rare off the get-go due to the fact weather being attributed to real-life seasons. This will affect Blood Moon, Snow, Aurora, and Hail. And I'm sure there are going to be some cool conditions slash Tenorians you'll be able to hunt for in these weathers, so keep an eye out for them. On to the shop. The max quantity that can be stored in your bag is 999. And there was some weird bug involving it, but that's been fixed, and the cap is 999. And shop items can also now be bought using Robux and Tano Pounds. Rare unique encounters. Now, if you're going to be hunting a lot, you're definitely going to want to listen to this. So. When a shiny spawns and is a fair distance from the player, a beam will appear making it a lot easier to notice. Now this one is going to be really cool when starting your playthrough. When you view the starter cutscene, the starters will appear shiny. So if you do find a shiny starter, it's going to show in the cutscene and it's going to make it a lot easier to soft reset for. Tenorians with forms like Chromillion will require you to capture that form for it to appear in the Tanopedia. I did a few very rare forms of Tenorians that can spawn randomly. And Ruptures now have a chance to spawn unobtainable versions of Tenorians, e.g. Rainbow or Fantasy. So the first thing about very rare forms I'm sure hunters are going to be super, super interested in whatever they are. Now onto outside of battle mechanics. We have the mount dash, which allows you to dash through objects and unlock new areas to find items. And vine climb. You can climb up and down vines to access new areas, some of which may have very rare tenorians. A quick one on chaining adjustments. Chaining now affects the entire evolution line of a Tenorian rather than just the species. And this is a double-edged sword. Because you might not want to find the evolution of a Tenorian and just find its base form. And you may end up finding it and resetting your chain. But it's going to be super useful for those hordes. Because when you kill everything in it, you're going to get it all to contribute. And last but not least, post-release. After release, there will be mini updates at no fixed times to update animations and models to older Tenorians. There will also be patches adding new items with quality of life functions such as improving training and hunting, as well as a patch for incenses to see how good such bad they are, patches to adjust chaining odds, Patches to adjust Tenorian EXP and capture rates, and there will be certain weather events forced by the developers, stuff like Blood Moon, for certain Tenorians, either as a species, to obtain earlier than what would happen in the forecast. So, that is everything in today's devlog. If you guys did find it helpful and are super excited for Tales of Tenorio, then make sure to sub to the channel and be greatly appreciated as Tales of Tenorio slowly gets closer. Only five days from when I'm recording this. So, yeah, I will see you in another video. Goodbye.